20 years after New York City firefighter Leon Smith left Ladder 118 in Brooklyn and responded to the burning towers, the pain is still there, just beneath the surface. All the way back to that day, I saw the towers falling. Irene Smith, one of countless parents who watched their child turned first responder rush to the scene that bright Tuesday morning. But I didn't know Leon was in there when the towers was falling. That's because Leon, a 19-year department veteran, typically helped operate a ladder truck. So for the last two decades, Ms. Smith has worked tirelessly toward a singular goal. I will keep his name alive to make sure the country continues to remember the sacrifice of Leon and the 11 other firefighters who looked like him, not remembered or honored more, but the same as the rest of the 343 FDNY members who gave their lives that day. It's so many people do not even know it was 12 black firefighters. It's not unique for black firefighters to remember uh, their own. Ms. Smith and FDNY Captain Paul Washington both say there wasn't just one slight or one incident, but rather the culmination of many over the years. Washington and Ms. Smith recalled to us one nationally televised moment in particular, this scene from an episode of Saturday Night Live. Ladies and gentlemen, the mayor of New York City, Rudolph Giuliani. Broadcast in the days after the attacks, featured in a subsequent documentary. Every last one of which was white, except for one. And uh, I think that kind of set the tone. So we feel it's important to put that out there, uh, to show that black sacrifice that we died at this fire, uh, uh, in, this, in this tragedy as well. Firefighters Gerard Baptiste, Vernon Cherry, Terrell Coleman, Andre Fletcher, Keith Glasgow, Ronnie Henderson, William Henry, Carl Joseph, Keith Roy Maynard, Sean Powell, Vernon Richard and Leon Smith Jr. 12 black firefighters among the 343 who were killed on 9-11. This story would not be complete without also noting Ms. Smith and the other families of the 12 black FDNY firefighters who died on 9-11 have also watched the department itself change over the last two decades. The fire department has made an effort to they increase have. diversity. They have. Um, the, the culture has changed. Yes. It is better. For Ms. Irene Smith, any discussion about her son's ultimate sacrifice must also include the harassment he faced on the job, as well as the department's efforts to improve its culture. It is a conversation that begins and ends with Leon. It's not a moment. I don't think of Leon. Leon was my only child. His spirit is all around this house. Now we reached out to the FDNY Commissioner Daniel Nigro about this story. Yeah, he sent us a statement that reads, quote, the department made a solemn promise to never forget the 343 FDNY members who made the supreme sacrifice on September 11th. We honor and remember these 12 firefighters always and their bravery and sacrifice continue to inspire more young men and women to pursue a career in the FDNY.